Now, I'm going to be tying and fly the Cola Mosaic Dabbler. This is it here. Now, this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Uh, it's a fly that's used in competitions here in the UK. Uh, or basically, we've got international or home international competitions. And this style of fly works extremely well, both for brown trout and uh, for rainbows. And it's a good pattern to have. There's a few locks that it works and countries uh, in the international scene so it's certainly worth dying. Now the hook I'm using is a filling mill, this is it here, it's called the Competition Heavyweight in Black, it's a size 10, 10s and 12s is the two sizes I've been dying. The thread I'm going to be using is just the Uni Thread AO in black. Now we simply start at the eye, put down a layer of thread along the shank and stop it just in line with the barb of the hook and remove the waste piece. Tail can be black cock, hackle fibers or it can be the bronze mallard. And I'm just going to use some bronze mallard. Now we have been an international hook size or fly I'm going to be tying. The tail can be no longer than the, at least the shank. It's got to be fit within a certain size. Now I'm going to show you what it should look like, or it should fit within, and it's always worth checking your fly. This is the, the card that I use, and basically the hook's got to fit within a certain size, it's got to fit within there. But the full size of the fly has to fit, as you can see, within that area there, 15 sixteenths, and that does. So, I'm happy with that, and trim away the base. Now, what I'm going to do is just quickly take the thread up and back down. Just tying these ends. Now the mosaic is the flash I'm going to be using. This is it here. It comes from Lure Flash, and as you can see, the colours are gold, blue, red, and it has obviously the black. Now each strand has a, a fine, like an antron fibre running through it. Now what I do is I take off maybe four to five lengths, or, and then I cut it into maybe about an inch. All them into small pieces. No, I'm going to go any smaller than an inch, about an inch length. And then what I'm going to do, I'm really going to dub this on. I'm just going to show you once I've cut it up. Now there's all the cut ends. Now what I do is simply then is to roll it within my fingers. Try not to drop it all out. If you do it on your desk, you'll not do this, but you'll not see what I'm doing. So you end up with like a, a ball of dubbing and flash. And then you just dub it on. It's easy to dub on. Slightly. Now you could obviously mix in some something else like a bit of some rabbit, something a bit soft, or even seals fur. And as you can see it dubs on really easy, so all you do is then get it started and tighten up when you need to. And just form a body with the, the mosaic flash. And you'll get all the colours that you need. And there we are. And that's your body. Uh, it's just nicely mixed up. So, And then we get some more flash. We form like basically a throat and an underwing with this. So just catch it underneath. There's about six fibres or so there. A couple of turns to get it started. And then use my nail just to spread, slightly spread it. And then what I do then is I lift these ends up and then again we can slightly spread it on top. Maybe just towards the back of the hook, just about there. What I'm going to do is just cut it certain different lengths. And then obviously keep this for your next fly. Just moisten it and set it on my desk. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring out some of the fibres with some velcro. Just mess it up. Now you could put a hackle in front of this. It's up to yourself, a black hen or something, or even a cock hackle. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but I'm not going to do that. Now we've got a sort of medium to large bronze mallard uh, feather here. Take away fluff at the bottom. Now I'm going to take out some of the material 
for the throat. So basically bring it out until the tips are a bit lined up, hold the ends and then tear it away from the feather. And then what I like to do is basically tie it underneath, but I like to split it in half, meaning like I just use my thumb to hold these ends apart. Just and then I can bring it down either side of the hook, hold the, the ends, and then I can be really then pinch and loop up the way two or three times, making sure the fibres are spread. You can always check the length. If you think it's too long, you can pull it at this point and then trim away what you don't need. Now I have waxed the thread, so there's plenty of grip. I'm going to do it again, and then I'm going to add a wing on, so we get more of the bronze mallard. Enough, bring out enough to form a right and a left side. So once the tips have lined up, hold the ends, tear it away from the feather, and we come on top. Wing, you don't want it as long as you don't want it all the way back to the tail. You want it shorter than that, and then we just basically. Fold it, pinch the loop on top, two or three turns, making sure it's secure. That's fine. Trim away the waste. Again, more wax onto your thread and then bring the thread. I usually bring it to the eye and then work up into the cut ends. Nice and tight. This, to me, is much stronger if you do that. It's easier to form the head as well. Now I want two jungle cock eyes, two small jungle cock eyes. Now you could have a split jungle cock eye uh, folded down either side, it's up to yourself. It's the aiming points, and it's optional where you put this on, but I'll show you how to do it. So I've got two eyes here, both lined up. Now I'm going to draw back the fibres that I don't need. Stay your time you're doing this. And then you can tie them individually on if you want, but I'm putting them on at both at the same time. You want them up into the wing, hold them there, and come round two or three turns. Keep the thread tight and just check that everything's fine and that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is wax the thread again and then fold back the waist ends of the jungle cock and then form a small head or tidy up the head anyway just ignore things at this point and then go straight in and whip finish that's fine and now what we do is trim away the waist Do this side. You can break it off. I think it's going to break off. Sometimes they do, and they they're fine. And then it's going to bring us out. Now you can make it heavier, obviously, for the bigger fly. Uh, if you're tying, I mean, there's a longer tail. If you're tying where no rules are, so you can have it much longer on the tail, which is, looks better, I think. But when you're working within a set of rules, you have to tie it within the size. Then what I do is for speed, I use the super glue first on the head, just uh, sets really quick and then finish off with a coat of varnish to seal it. And there we are, and that's the mosaic tabla. It's basically fished for competitions or the internationals. Uh, this fly is done well enough to see a few locks. Uh, Certainly worth a go. I would give it a go. Uh, so, certainly a flashy type fly. It's one of these, the rainbows like it. And as I say, the wild brown trout like the, the mosaic of that colour as well. So, that's why it's worth time. So, I hope you enjoyed that.